at this photograph snapped in the Toronto Pearson Airport Departures Lounge. Hi, Patty Haidu. I don't like wearing masks in indoor spaces either, but please don't undermine Public Health Canada's efforts to reduce the spread of COVID. We all have to do our part. Please set a better example for Canadians. Huh. And that's her, Patty Haidu, the health minister. An affirmative action quota hire, so embarrassing. Remember Jane Philpott? She was widely regarded as the single most competent cabinet minister in Trudeau's entire cabinet. She was no gender token. She was an accomplished woman, a doctor, who got things done, but Trudeau fired her because she stood with Jody Wilson-Raybould, the Indigenous Justice Minister who refused to go along with Trudeau's corrupt scheme to let his rich friends at SNC-Lavalin off the hook in a bribery trial. So Trudeau sacked the smartest woman in the government and replaced her as health minister with the dumbest woman in the government just before the pandemic hit. Not good. But not wearing a mask isn't even about being smart or dumb, is it? It's actually sort of the opposite. We all know that mask rules are ridiculous, especially in airports. If you haven't visited our website, maskexemption.ca, it's an interesting read. We have links to all the mask bylaws in the country, including for airports and airlines. At airports, you know you have to have the mask with you, but you don't have to wear it in the airport if you're socially distanced. Isn't that funny? Then you have to put it on when you go through security because you're in line with other people, but then you have to take it off when you board the plane when you're in line with other people so that I can ID your face. And then when you're on the plane, really an enclosed metal tube for hours at a time, you're seated literally inches away from the stranger next to you, and you have to have your mask on, except when they bring you water, snacks, meals, whatever. So you see, the virus apparently knows when it's snack time, and the virus promises not to make you sick in that half hour or whatever that you're having coffee and pretzels, and then you better put your mask on right away or else the virus is going to be mad at you and get you. I am not making up these rules. You can check them out for yourself at maskexemption.ca. Anyways, we all know it's a bit of a joke. The virus is so small, it's, it's much smaller than the space between the fibers and the cloth mask. It's like using a chain link fence to stop a pee. And of course, if, if you've ever worn a mask, you know that most of the air comes in and out of your mouth from around the mask. Not, not through it. The whole thing is a public health theater and big business, of course. I mean, look at this headline. All the mask makers are terrified that the terms of their sweetheart deals with the government will be made public and they'll be seen as the profiteers that they are. Oh, and I don't know if you saw this. Uh, here's some crook, a former liberal MP, who got a quarter billion dollar contract from Trudeau for things like ventilators. He had just set up his company 11 days earlier, never made any personal protective equipment in his life. He got a $237 million contract, which experts say is, oh, you know, about $100 million too rich. So yeah, do you wonder why there's all these mask bylaws, even though the virus peaked back in April? A lot of money being made because crooks like Frank Bayless, that liberal MP, got to get paid. So back to Patty Haidu. There she was, yucking it up without a mask in the first class lounge. The photo went viral last night, so Haidu put out a statement on Twitter in reply. She said, following public health rules is important to me. I wear my mask at all times at Toronto Pearson and only take it off to eat or drink as allowed. Those are the rules, sort of. I, I told you the rules. Because um, as you know, the virus patiently waits while you eat. And only when you're done eating does it infect you. I mean, come on, people, this is science. But look at that photo. Is she eating or drinking there? I see her face and her mouth. Um, they're not eating or drinking, which is normally the part of the body, the mouth, where you would see such an activity. I see her, uh, her hands, which is often how we eat. You know, we use our hands to hold food or drink. And yep, just checking and nope, no food in them. Not in her right hand, not in her left hand, not on the table right next to her chair. And if you zoom in, you can see there's something on her lap, uh, not a napkin, not a sandwich. It looks like a a computer tablet, like an iPad, you can see a little bit of its shadow on her pant. So she's not eating, she's not about to eat, she has no food or drink out or on the table next to her or in her hand, and in fact on her lap is something else, not food, likely a computer. Uh, she's just lying, and here's what the person who took the photo replied to her lie. 
you were not eating or drinking. You made multiple phone calls each with your mask off. Now, I should tell you, I would normally disapprove of such a busybody scold. I would tell them to buzz off, that masks don't work, to mind your own business, and to stop being a creepy voyeur. Except that it's the Minister of Health, the one who scolds us and violates our privacy and is the creepiest person in the country. She's the source of the laws, and she laughs at them. She doesn't believe in them. Laws are for the little people. The big people get the big contracts to make the big bucks to give you a mask. The little people have to wear them and buy them and get tickets or fines or even arrests for not wearing them. Say, quick question. According to the head of the Centers for Disease Control, the CDC, that large nonpartisan U.S. public health agency, should healthy people wear masks? Should you wear a mask if you're healthy? No. Oh, yeah, no. But hey, we need to keep former liberal MPs well paid, and we need to keep current liberal MPs feeling powerful and dominate, so masks it is. Patty Haidu was not eating or drinking, but imagine that's her excuse. Why, why would she say that when the photo shows she wasn't eating or drinking? She really thinks that you're stupid. Are you that stupid? All the media is that stupid. Look at these headlines, and more importantly, the photos and these stories. And look at this from the Wicked Liars at the Huffington Post. Face coverings are mandatory in all areas of the airport's terminals. Okay, but, but it's, a, it's a photo, right? From another day and another place when she is wearing her mask. What? That, that's not the news. If you click the link, you see their story, that big photo again. That's not just refusing to show the news. It's reporting fake news, a photo of her wearing a mask, with a mask on, when she did not have a mask on. That photo is a lie when used to illustrate the story. Now, Huffington Post is a fake news clickbait website based in the United States. No one really takes it seriously, especially about Canadian things. But what about the mainstream media up here? I mean, here's Global News. Responding to an image posted to Twitter, the federal health minister says she only takes off her mask to eat or drink is allowed. So they ran with her lie. Without criticism, they just, they just ran her excuse. I suppose it's a miracle that they even ran the photo snapped of her in the airport. So they're not 100% liars like the Huffington Post. They're just stupid, uncritical repeaters of Haidu's lies. She was eating, guys. Same thing with the wicked liars at the Toronto Star. Fake picture with a mask. Why would they show that if it's the opposite of the news? I wonder if it has anything to do with the fact that Trudeau gives the Toronto Star $110,000 a week in bailout money. I wonder if there's a connection. Here's CTV. Showing her without a mask in a different place, but offering up her obviously false excuse. Here's CP24, the largest news station in Toronto, with exactly the same wording, almost like there's, you know, a media party that simply repeats the liberal talking points. Here's City News, who knows who the real culprit is here. The photo of Haidu without a mask, was posted Sunday evening by a self-described aide to Alberta's advanced education minister. Okay, good. Thanks, guys. Now I know who the real villain is, the guy pointing out that the health minister is a hypocrite. It reminds me of when a U.S. news magazine, Time magazine, broke the news that Justin Trudeau had repeatedly dressed up in racist blackface. All the Canadian media knew about it. They all had the photos of it, but they had chosen altogether not to run it. So someone gave the photos to Time magazine, which doesn't take Trudeau hush money, and so they published it. Yeah, it's newsworthy. And the media were so livid. They were furious that someone was doing their job that they weren't doing. They did a whole investigation into who the man was who dared to pass the photos on to Time, dared to criticize Dear Leader. I'm serious. They did a whole deep dive into the man who dared to report the news about Trudeau. It's odd, though. Jason Kenney and Aaron O'Toole met without masks, and it was like a five-alarm fire in the media. Andrew Shear, same thing. Uh, and you'll notice that in those stories about Kenny and Shear and O'Toole, the headline was the fact they didn't have masks. Not their rebuttal, their excuse, their spin. So when a conservative allegedly does something wrong, the accusation is in the headline. When a liberal allegedly does something wrong, the response, the spin, the rebuttal is in the headline. Listen, none of them believe it. They don't believe in masks, I'm sorry, they don't. The patron saint of the virus, Dr. Anthony Fauci, he knows it's BS. You know, he wore a mask when he gave this ceremonial pitch at a major league ball game. Oh my God, I've never seen such a bad pitch. Look at this. To throw out the ceremonial first pitch. <laughs> Catching his pitches, Nationals pitcher Sean Doolittle. Dr. Fauci, when you're ready. 
It's your pitch. Dr. Anthony Fauci. I think that's probably the worst pitch ever thrown. About as accurate as, as his pandemic predictions. But you'll notice that when he was done, he, he was wearing a mask when he threw the pitch, even though he was standing far away from everybody else. So the mask was for sure when he was on TV. But when he went later to sit down with his friends close to them, he knew the mask was BS, so he took it off when he was close to people. He had it on for the cameras, and he took it off when he sat down next to people. They know it's BS. Should you wear a mask if you're healthy? No. They all know it's BS. It's a way of making money for their friends. It's a way for them to keep you in fear, to keep you under control. It's a way for them to feel powerful over you. But never think, not for a moment, that they will ever follow their own rules. They are the ruling class. They get to make the rules. You're the people over whom they rule. It is your job to follow the rules. The stupider the rules, the better, just to see how far you'll go to obey. Know your place in a pandemic. It is to obey and to be afraid. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. You gotta subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.